desktop background when it comes up select visual effects tab and hit extra hit extra and it should do a searching for drivers and it should load the drivers and then it should pop up and ask you if you want to keep the settings and of course you do you want to keep the settings after that's all working um, go over to Synaptic Package Manager and type in Compize in the search box type in Compize and you're going to install this Compize alone you're going to install Compize Settings Manager um, accept any dependencies hit install and you've got the manager installed uh, then you can go under system preferences compile settings manager you can go under there and you can change some settings um, I like to enable desktop cube I'll disable desktop wall I like to enable rotate cube I like to enable 3D windows I also like to enable cube reflection and deformation uh, animations add-on that's a good one um, just look at these and play with them I like to do window previews that's going to be useful when I get my and splash to let me know that it's on it'll show the splash screen when it boots up to let me know that compose is running if it doesn't boot up then it's not running for some reason it didn't boot up right then but I don't know why um, and down here I usually enable ring switcher I have to go and change some of the settings because it will conflict with shift switcher I'm not gonna go through all that now uh, with the animations though I change all these these have something else what I do is I select each one of these one by one I'll do a different one because um, I do it for each tab what I do is I enable all of these in the random effects pool and able enable enable each I check each one of them and then one by one I select these in the uh, animation selection because it's already got all the windows that's going to open and close so I select these instead of creating a new one I simply select them hit the edit button change them to random and change the time to 300 because sometimes these things happen so fast that you won't even see it and changing it to 300 will give you time to see it um, I do each one of them like that for open close minimize the animation and um, so on and so forth it's one that does not have a random effect pool I don't believe I think it's the focus animation tab but for each and every one of them I'm not going to go through all of them for each and every one of them oh yeah well yeah I'll finish them up just simply I'm selecting them because I like to see something different every time of course it doesn't happen to be different every single time sometimes you know because it's random so randomly it might pick the same thing five times it's bad random but you know some of them you know they've got more effects than others so but I just go and I do random for every one of them the focus animation does not have a random pool um, but what I do is I like the dodge um, here's an example of dodge hold on Let's see, let's open that. This is Dodge. Oh, it was going too fast. Yeah, that's Dodge. We'll actually run them behind each other like that. That's actually kind of slow. I might change that later. And this, you can change the settings and time steps and all that. I don't mess with any of that. But yeah, I'm about to change that right now before I forget. Was that 300 last time? I'm gonna put on 400. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so there I do all that for the animations. Um, I don't enable. Uh, that's pretty much all I enable. Um, 
one thing I do enable because this helps out when I'm shooting videos I disable negative enable magnifier I believe yeah and I enable show mouse um, magnifier gives you a little magnifier window which sometimes is better than this because that causes anomalies a lot of times that causes anomalies a lot of times when I'm recording with GTK record my desktop it'll cause anomalies show mouse will allow you to see the mouse um, I don't have that set up yet and um, that's pretty much it for um, Compize up and installed and running on the desktop so that's that in a nutshell thanks for watching uh, on the next video uh, part of the uh, customizing the desktop I'll go through installing on and adding some launchers to on you know messing with it getting it on there because this is what I use for the lower dock which I don't have up right now because I haven't done the video um, it was in I think it's in some of my earlier videos I might it might not be because my earlier videos tend to have just the middle of the desktop without the panels on it so um, yeah that's that. Thanks for watching and come back and watch the next video.